Yeah, and and I think one of the key things is you always want to have written proof of these of these agreements, right? You can't just have like a transfer coming from from a friend's account into your account and say, "Yep, that's a loan. I promise." Right? You want to make sure you're having written agreements um, at market terms, and I think this is a really you know pre previously overlooked thing. USCIS has been fairly lenient in terms of personal loans and the terms that you receive them at. But if you really want to avoid any of that, you know, questioning any of those questions of whether or not this is a legitimate loan or not, you want to get your loan at market terms, right? So you can look at Prime, you can kind of see, um, at, you know, what the rates are out there and you can, it doesn't have to be exactly on that, it can be a more favorable rate. Um, but you do want to document that there is this is an actual loan, and if you're you know providing a personal guarantee uh, with personal collateral to 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 collateralize that loan, that's okay. You want to memorialize that with a written agreement as well, with a personal guarantee that's set out in writing as well. Um, all very important. If you're getting um, you know money from from someone who's overseas, again, totally okay but you want to go through that same exercise of translating any foreign documents completely and accurately. Um, and you want to make sure that they're paying the appropriate taxes, right? This is where this is where loans can kind of be very, very helpful. A lot of loans are not going to be taxed. You know, you're typically going to be taxed more so on gifts and income and things like that. Loans don't necessarily have to go through that same analysis in some places. In some places they do. So you want to make sure that um, any tax liability that you're incurring as a result of this loan is being paid. You want to make sure that any money that they're providing you has been taxed appropriately and is free and clear of any financial encumbrances as well. And then once again, you know, the tracing from the source to the current account, if the money is being given to you, this is the exact same hypothetical I gave for the gifts and inheritance one. If the money is coming to you uh, from someone, you know, from anywhere, um, you want to make sure that it's coming directly to you. It's not hitting some kind of detour along the way. Any break in that path of funds can lead to a really, really tough RFE from USCIS or even worse, a denial. So you want to be very, very careful to make sure that, okay, we've agreed to have this loan. It's going to be paid out. That's great. Here is the money and it's coming directly to you and not kind of going to some other account first or collecting interest somewhere else first then coming back. And if it is, that's okay, but we want to make sure you document that so you preempt any questions.